doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some scary videos that can't quite be explained. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more eerie content just like this. YouTuber Mario Lara is no stranger to the paranormal. For the most of 2021, he's been posting his experiences with the supernatural to YouTube. His latest encounter seems to be one of the most frightening to date. Mario owns a party supply shop in Mexico. For months, it's been exhibiting some very unsettling and inexplicable events. Items often move without reason, strange whispers can be heard after hours, and ghostly figures have been spotted haunting the shop. Despite its cheery, bright appearance, the premises seems to have a sinister presence lurking within it. Mario has decided to set up some cameras and other equipment in order to get evidence of the shop's eerie haunting. In this clip, early in the evening, some strange activity begins to manifest. Watch what one of the cameras caught. Here we can already see things beginning to move as some items fall off the shelf, seemingly all on their own. Later in the evening, as one of the investigators decides to get some rest on a sofa, something eerie happens in the background. Then, around 30 seconds later, this happens. As you can see, the TV slides across the floor towards the sleeping man. Not long after, the man is awoken by a loud banging noise. He jumps up and grabs a flashlight. When he notes the position of the TV, he seems perplexed. Next, we see footage of the investigator killing some time while playing a PlayStation VR. As his attention is fixated on the screen, something truly chilling happens in the background. Watch. A small, transparent form appears near the back of the room. Only its dark, short hair is distinctly visible as it moves in rapid blurs along the wall, staring at the man.
When the investigator later attempts to communicate with the entity, he hears strange sounds in response to his questions. A camera shows a candle being blown out in an empty room. The investigation team believes that the ghost of a child is dwelling in the stall. They theorise that the child's spirit has an attachment to a particular item, a piñata of the Disney princess Moana. For now, the ghost seems relatively harmless, but no one knows how far it will go. nearly Halloween. If only Slaptam had some fresh merch to spruce up the spooky holiday season. Fresh merch. Cryptid All-Stars. A seance gone wrong. And you looking in the mirror in 40 years after realizing your job has stolen your youthful ambition. Fresh. Buy it now. The clock is ticking. This next piece of terrifying footage comes from TikToker Paulina Lara 62, who was actually Mario Lara's niece from the previous segment. The footage shows Paulina alone in the back room of the shop where the investigation of the previous segment took place. Take a look at what happened. As you can see, Paulina appears to be dragged across the room by some unseen force. One of her legs is sticking up in the air as she slides. To make matters even stranger, take a look at the wall near the doorway where the worker is dragged. This is the Moana piñata that Mario believes is haunted. The doll's arms and legs are stretched out as if hung from a cross. The doll never moves from its spot on the wall, but that hasn't stopped viewers from speculating that the creepy doll might be to blame for the strange events in the footage. Paulina later posted a photo on her Facebook page that shows just how scary this incident was for her. Hours after her shift ended, her ankle is ringed with a dark black bruise. This is an ongoing saga that we'll definitely keep an eye on and we'll be sure to post updates as they come to hand. In the meantime, check out Mario Lara's channel for all his previous evidence caught on camera. As always, there's links in the description box below. Not many people can claim that they've had an actual alien encounter. Even fewer have abduction stories that experts believe to be credible. According to the Birmingham UFO Group, this footage is one of the rare cases where they believe the victim's claims. It all started when a woman from Droitwich, England confessed to her husband that she believed she'd been abducted by aliens while sleeping. At first, he didn't believe her. He decided to try and put her mind at ease by setting up an infrared camera in their bedroom one night to record them while they slept, hoping that seeing evidence of her peaceful night's rest would be enough to convince her that the extraterrestrials had been nothing but a bad dream. 
Unfortunately, the video shows something very different from what he expected. In the clip, we can see the couple sleeping peacefully under a white duvet. A few seconds into the footage, the duvet rises above the sleeping woman. When it falls back down, it falls all the way to the mattress. The woman appears to be gone. According to the timestamp, the footage is sped up. Approximately 12 and a half minutes later, the duvet billows up into the air, even higher this time. When it falls back down, it lands on a prone body. It appears the woman is again peacefully asleep in her bed. The next morning, she once again claims to have been abducted in the night. The footage seems to confirm it. UFO investigator Dave Hodrian contacted the woman in the footage to further look into the events that were caught on camera. Hodrian sent the video off to two separate video analysis experts who were at a loss to explain what the clip showed. The woman in the footage, who wishes to remain anonymous, claims to have been abducted by aliens on two separate occasions. The first incident occurred on the 3rd of December 2010. At around 1am, the woman got up to check on her daughters in bed. When she walked past a window, she noticed a strange disc-shaped object floating above the field adjacent to their home. The object began to glow and came closer to the house. At this point, the woman claims that she felt like the object was observing her and that a strange feeling of calm washed over her and strangely, she just went back to bed. Later in the night, the woman felt like she was no longer in her own bedroom. It felt like she was naked, lying on an unfamiliar hardened surface in a darkened room. Her eldest daughter was said to be kneeling beside her. She leaned in and whispered, Mum, it's alright, don't worry. It's your turn, Mum, don't be scared. They're not going to hurt you. Suddenly, she felt like she was floating down a tunnel of some kind. At this point, she was paralysed and could only move her eyes. She could sense that there were several small beings standing around her. It felt like these beings were able to talk directly in her mind. They reassured her that no harm would come to her. The woman recalls several invasive experiments happening to her before suddenly waking up back in her own bed. She was naked, with her nightgown strewn on the floor some distance away. Frightened, she woke her husband up to explain what had happened. The following morning, the woman felt sharp pains in her lower abdomen near her ovaries, as well as an aching finger on her left hand. In the subsequent days, the woman became anxious about sleeping. It got so bad that her husband decided to install the infrared camera in their bedroom, which brings us to the footage we just saw. On the night this footage was captured, the woman recalls a buzzing feeling happening in her head before being taken to a room filled with the small beings once again. One of the beings began moving its hands over and around the woman's body but not touching her directly, keeping about an inch or two away. Again, as if by telepathy, the being communicated, reporting a series of ailments that the woman suffered from, such as a stomach ulcer in her lower abdomen. Moments later, the woman felt a familiar rushing sensation as though floating down a tunnel or corridor. Without quite realising it, it was the morning after. In the mirror, she noticed that she had two asymmetrical bruises around her lower belly. Certain that something strange had happened, the woman and her husband checked the security footage and were stunned at what they saw. The footage seemed to prove that she was abducted and removed from her bed for a period of time. This case is far grander in scope than what we've been able to cover here. To read Dave Hodrian's full report on the incident, I'll put a link to the Birmingham UFO Group's website in the description box below.
Strange things can happen in the dark of night, such as the bizarre events recorded and shared to TikTok by user Tracy Perez 408 The footage was recorded on an indoor security camera mounted near the ceiling of their bedroom. At the start of the video, we see a man asleep on the bed. Immediately, the footage becomes strange when something small and black seems to run across the floor and under the bed. Thirty seconds later, a sinister looking hand reaches into the room and slides down the door jamb. Not long after the hand appears, the door slowly creaks open. After a few more seconds, an unidentified object suddenly rolls into the doorway, crashing into the foot of the bed. Things take a terrifying turn when the man in the bed begins to move. The man awakens in a panic and tosses a pillow at his sleeping roommate. Seconds later, something strange happens to the chair in the middle of the room. With so many strange little details happening in this clip, there's been a plethora of theories suggested in the comments section. Some believe that the whole thing's a prank, perhaps orchestrated by another roommate. However, the moving chair, the creepy hand and strange crawling black thing have left a lot of viewers on edge, suggesting that some kind of entity might be haunting this house. So where do you sit, prank or haunting? Let me know in the comments section down below. TikToker Fernando Victoroli has uploaded some footage that has left viewers thoroughly creeped out. The footage was recorded during a night shift at a train station. We see two railroad workers walking alongside the tracks as the TikToker walks behind them, recording the train as they walk past it. See if you can spot anything weird as they walk along. They don't seem to notice that they've caught something strange in their footage. Pay close attention to the train's windows. You may just see a creepy face staring back at you. The face, at first, is difficult to make out through the dark window. It's white with dark, sunken eyes. It appears for only a moment before the night shift worker moves on down the tracks, blissfully unaware that they're being watched by something. Obviously, it's very late at night and the train is parked at the depot, so there's no reason for anyone to be on board. Could this be a simple case of pareidolia, the brain's tendency to see faces in inanimate objects? Or is there something more sinister at play here? Take a closer look at the footage and draw your own conclusions. Just quickly, before we take a look at our last piece of creepy footage, remember to caress that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and mysterious videos. And a completely free way to support our channel is to pulverise that thumbs up button there. When you're having a bad day, you might feel like a dark cloud is hanging over you. However, unlike the man in this footage from Tech World TV, you probably don't have any proof on film. The footage shows an older man walking across a busy street. Watch what happens. 
there appears to be a strange black mass hovering just behind him as he walks, almost as if a shadow figure is perched on his back. The man seems to take no notice of this bizarre shadow that seems to be tightly attached to him. Some viewers have suggested that the dark shadow could actually be some sort of protective spirit as the man walks across the busy road easily without being injured by oncoming traffic. So is this just an ordinary shadow, a shadow person or some sort of guardian angel? Let us know what you think in the comments section down below. Now, if you want to see some more scary videos, then check out that link on the top there. Otherwise, we have a massive paranormal playlist there that'll keep you entertained for hours and hours. Leave us a comment down below, smash that thumbs up button. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. 